Wednesday 5th of December 2018 we're about to head off Christchurch before we leave because Zach's got to tank up on food for these hungry jacks and Bill as well also hungry jacks where are we going boys? Christchurch where? New Zealand. New Zealand? See some cuzzy bros? Okay, about to get in the big bird in about an hour's time. Delayed flight. Supposed to be leaving now, but just bought him now at 5.35. You ready, boys? Say goodbye to Mum. Say goodbye to Mum. Bye, Mum. Bye, Mum. He is my recital. I think it's very vital to rock you go. So say my Kiwi say we is the title of the call. It's Kiwi to rock around to rock around and say the block is Kiwi. It's Kiwi, 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 Kiwi. It's Kiwi to rock around to rock around and say the block is Kiwi. It's Kiwi, 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 Kiwi. These signs will be clocking and these placards will be watching. Listen, follow these signs, follow these signs. Now 1.26 in the morning, plane arrived late and we're just picking up our car which is a Sanyong. We're ready to go to the YMCA for first night's accommodation. 2.01 in the morning and just arriving at YMCA off to a bit of a cook's tour of Christchurch. But the YMCA we're staying at which is $210 two nights just across the road from Botanic Gardens which is a massive park in the middle of Christchurch so we're just going to tour around there for a little while just looking back down Hereford Street towards city centre this is the place we're staying at across the road from Botanical Gardens. That's Hagley Park or the Botanical Gardens. Beautiful Botanical Gardens in the centre of Christchurch. Across the road is the Botanical Gardens and the Avon River and here's the famous punting on the Avon even though it's 11.30 in the morning, quite cool it's probably only around 14 degrees Here's a combo deal canoe hire, children's meal and icy twist for $20 The famous punting on the Avon. I think it's twenty dollars a head or thirty dollars a head. So now we're going to take a walk through the famous Christchurch Botanical Gardens. I'm always a sucker for a good fountain. Not very lavish, but it's a fountain. If you're lazy, you can get a, a little bus through. Your okay, we now how to do museums, that's for sure. Very nice museum, this one. We're now in the Canterbury Museum, which was just 10 metres from the water from the water fountain. We have some great museums in New Zealand. Yeah. 
some great exhibitions showing early Māori. The museum shows some replicas streets from the 1870s and Bill's just riding through the street on his penny farthing. <laughs> Bill showing a bit of the Yell Curse, just picked up a Kiwi girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Nice pot of the Kiwi. This is at the end of the museum. my boys and this looks back towards the YMCA where we're staying it's only about 200 meters long the road there Christchurch, Christchurch, yeah. tram's very famous. Now we're heading on our walking tour from the Botanical Gardens to Quake City in a mass street. Running into these trams everywhere. About 30 minutes drive from Christchurch and our YMCA hotel is the New Brighton Pier. Harry should have brought his board today. Not a bad surf actually. Nobody out there because it's too bloody cold. Don't know how cold it is in the water but it's about 14, 15 degrees outside. Looks like the pier's about five, six hundred metres long. When in New Zealand, you've got to have your fashion chips. Fashion chips for $1.80 here. Why do I know and fish for $4. $3 actually. It's now 6 o'clock in the evening. We're down at the Art Centre, which is about 50 metres walk from YMCA. You've got a uh, free movie in, uh, except you've got to give a gold coin donation so it costs two dollars and Polar Express is in. Uh, boys have seen the movie about ten times they said so we're going to try some live music in St. Asaph Street. Seven o'clock still plenty of light and we decided to come watch some live music at the dark room. Ten dollars a entry a head entry. It's Friday morning and December the 7th we just checked out of the YMCA this morning, 9 o'clock. We're heading to Hamner Springs, about two hours direct drive, but we're going to stop on our way. And we've just turned off for about an hour away. The boys are checking the Wi-Fi here.
about 9 k's from Hamnar Springs. So $12.50 each for the boys and $2 for me as a spectator. I've been here before. And then I'm going back to the car to have a bit of sleep. Boys just getting changed at the moment. Boys not interested in doing laps, but there's a swing pool here. After a diet of fish and chips and meat pies, we decided to go healthy. And we built. View looking down towards the bungee jump and the springs. There's about three or four kilometres outside of and in the springs. Bungee jump off that bridge. Just ran over there. Sunglasses left on top of the car, then someone drove over them, so I bought a new pair for ten dollars at Henry Springs. Just stopping on the way back at Waikuku and Saki's on to pie number. Loves his meat pies. Sorry, correction, Waikari. So after leaving Hanma Springs, we drove through to Jelly Park, where the next stay is. It's in this cul-de-sac. Looks like a woman's bought two properties and is renting them out in the Airbnb. Only problem was she left a number on the door we couldn't contact so we tried a number of variations, still didn't contact, asked the neighbours, they didn't know anything about it. We did find a key under the mat and then decided to ring booking.com and after about 20 minutes of waiting and talking to them they contacted alternative number and were allowed to enter. So we don't have to go back to YMCA, we can stay here for the night. So this is the house that we're staying at. There's Bill in the hallway. And Zaki's found himself some keyboards to play on. So there's the big unit having a go. And here's inside the house. Kitchen. And then we go upstairs here to the bedroom. Saturday the 8th of December 2018 and yesterday we went to Hamner Springs. Today we're going to drive to the south to Littleton and then to Akaroa. And who could resist? Hello breakfast. We're at Littleton now. There's the gondolas passing each other. And the gondola goes all the way up the top of the hill there. And here's Zaki reliving his childhood. Shot of our trusty hire car and the boys at the bottom of the gondola about to ascend the mountain and quite a climb in the gondola 
and we go all the way up there, top of the hill. And here we're heading up. $30 adults and $15 for each of the young fellas. It's in the metal pill. Why? Yeah, it's a bit yeah I'll move there. back. There. I'll move over there. It's a bit rocky. Yeah, because the two heaviest people. <laughs> I'll move back there then. Should have got my own. Can I get a bit seasick here? Hit the pole. It's like. Not really. Move over. to navigate. They called Banks Peninsula the great storehouse as it was abundant with food and natural resources. Now at the top of Littleton Hill, about to go in the restaurant. This is the view from outside. Quite strong breeze blowing. Christchurch in the distance. Boys bearing the elements, top of the mountain, Littleton, Christchurch in the background. Yeah, it's a bit cold, we're going to have some. My boys have changed teams, become cozy bros. back and then off to Akaroa. And just coming in for a nice safe landing. Thank you for flying with New Zealand cable cars. I have to stop watch game of cricket since the Kiwis are going better than the Aussies at the moment. Oh, nearly out. Uh, about half an hour from Akaro, we're stopping at a place called Little River. Comfort stop. Weather's turned a bit cloudy. About 45 kilometers, half an hour from Akaroa. And Zaki just donated $1.70 to get the Little River train getting back on the tracks again. I think I doubted Zach because the track doesn't lead anywhere. Stops here. Oh, it smells beautiful in here. Zach said, I'll take a photo of the smell. Wish I could. Just wandering through the gallery and the cafe. That little river.
just filled up the car. The petrol is very, very expensive here. We paid $1.99.9, $2 a litre. And when we left Australia, it was between $1.17 and $1.45. $2 here for petrol, very expensive. Food and most other things also expensive. And the boys overlooking Akaro Harbour, we're just heading down there. Very windy road on the way up. Not so windy, pretty straight on the way down. Hopefully the marinated fish is still available. There's Saki whistling some sheep, as you do in New Zealand. Bill taking a selfie, as you do all After an hour and a half to two hours drive from Littleton, we're at Akaroa to the French Influence Village. See if we can find our fish. And Zach de decided to get his picture painted by this bloke. Looks a bit stiff though, the artist. The boys heading off towards the pier. It's three years later, maybe the guy's still not doing his marinated fish. Find out in about five minutes. Apparently, this is the van where they used to do it, but they don't do it anymore. So. At least we found the van. Don't know why the siren's going off. The boys waiting for their fish and chips. And a few boats heading out to a cruise ship. 2468. Bill's right into it. So it's a Norwegian jewel, which is important. The boys enjoyed the fish so much, they've gone in for seconds. Ten dollars for sole and chips. Sunday morning, we're just leaving our homestay and heading to Arthur's Pass. It's uh, about 9.30 in the morning. First pie shop, the pie stop of the day. Bit of road kill. Still 30 k's from Arthur's Pass. We've just come across the railway line for the Trans Alpine train and we're about 25 k's from Arthur's Pass. There's a continuation of the railway line. About 12 k's from Arthur's Pass. Quite a long bridge here to cross yet. We're heading in that direction. And we've come from way down here, down Christchurch. We're about 120 k's from Christchurch. 
so after a leisurely two and a half hour drive we arrived at Arthur's Pass. It's got a railway station here, general store, a few odds and ends, nothing spectacular. We're going to head back after we have something to eat. And lunch is beef steak and cheese. For everyone. And salmon sandwiches, prime. Salmon sandwiches followed by beef steak and cheese, prime. And here's Zach, love your food son. Very windy here, as you can probably hear through the camera. Now we're turning around and going back to Christchurch. Just heading back to Christchurch, pretty windy roads, very steep drop offs in parts, and steep climbs. See the distance there. After two hours drive from Arthur's Pass, we're arrived at 30 Greenwood Port, which is where our next three nights will be spent in a house with all facilities, hopefully. Monday morning, it's about 10 o'clock, and after a good night's sleep, we're heading off to Sumner Beach, about half an hour away. Petrol's not cheap here, $2.06 a litre. But at least you get driveway service. Arrived at Sumner Beach, got all these houses around this area built on the side of the hill. Some of them you don't know how you get up to them. And the surf's pumping today, uh, about a third of a metre. But there is a surf contest on. With, uh, group of people there learning how to surf still at Sumner Beach heading off to the mall Enough said. Bit of retail therapy for the boys. Inside the tannery. Still choosing a men's ring, silver and black onics. So it would go to the cinemas and see Bohemian Rhapsody for the third time for Bill and I, and for the fourth time for Zaki at the Palms Cinemas. Voted number one cinema in New Zealand. Zach's about to watch it for the fourth time and we're the third time Bill and I. Tuesday the 11th of December, it's supposed to be summer in Christchurch but 
it's around 11 degrees quite cool and we have been north northwest and west now we're going to go south of Christchurch to a place called Ashburton and do a circle you come to New Zealand you expect to see rugby well here we are about 1k away from where we're staying looks like a training session for rugby team Uh, training session for the Crusaders. My name's Kev. Kev Robertson. Kev. And his future stars over here for the Australia for the Wallop. As the door says, our customers tell us we have the best pies in town. And Bill and Zach concur. After about one and three quarters hours, we've got uh, arrival at Ashburton. Just been travelling across the very flat land, dairy and beef cattle, out of the Canterbury Plain. Ashburton's a reasonable sized service town. Got Burger King, Maccas, KFC, etc. Next stop is 34 kilometres away at Methan. Been drizzling most of the way with this sort of countryside we're passing through on the Canterbury Plain. They reckon they have a drought here if it hasn't rained for four days. Well, it's raining nearly every day we've been here. So, no drought. It's summertime and we just checked the temperature was 13 degrees. Next stop, Darfield, 72 k's. Remember this place, Harris, Mount Hutt? We must have gone through Methan, Mount Hutt, ski fields where Harris went about four years ago. Typical farm in this area. Now we're heading to the Mount Hutt ski fields area. Not turning off for it though. And on our way back to Christchurch. Just hope the gorge isn't too steep. And now driving into the gorge, which is way down there. It's something I enjoy doing. Hopefully, it's not too steep on the way down. Billy Boy doing his tourist too. Just clocked up a thousand kilometres on our holiday, four days, five days, and now clocks back over to Nort. Heading back to Christchurch, decided not to go down the gorge. Got to visit another bakehouse, tried some sweets this time. Now shopping and think of you new. Malaysian food box here. Our boys having a bit of fun. Look like what are you? Had it little lady. It's snow's bag time. Time for lunch. We found a whole old food store. I know. I think we nearly stumbled over. I don't think anyone actually found it. We're going to have in this food court. At what's the name of this? Northlands. Northlands North Lands Shopping Centre.
back of Lancaster Park which was the stadium destroyed by the there we went everything sweet as dropped off the car no problem no extra charges straight through the airport checked in used the kiosk no problem now we got a, about an hour and a half before we take off Okay, Bill, we've been back for a couple of weeks now. What did you like about the trip to Christchurch? I liked the little tin gondola, the views at Arthur Pass, Arthur's Pass, and the fish and chips at Akaroa. And what didn't you like? Well, I didn't like not like it. It's just like it would have been better if it was snowy because then I would have got to go snowboarding at Mount Hutt. Is that all? Would you go to Christchurch again? Yeah. Recommend it? Probably in winter, so then I could go snowboarding. Okay, and you're ready for our next big trip? Yeah. Where would you like to go? America. America, okay. We'll save your pennies. <laughs> save your pennies, love. Okay, thank you. Okay, Zach, what do you like about your trip to Christchurch? Um, I like the accommodation, the weather and the food. Where would you like to go on your next trip? Um, Fiji. Fiji, okay. Possibility. Okay. Thanks, or Zach. Japan. Anyway, it was good to go to Christchurch with you two boys. Yeah. Enjoyed myself. Yeah. Okay.